How is it going everybody? You're watching The Mobile Tech and today we're going to talk about the top iOS 15 settings that you need to change right now. So now we're all in iOS 15, we have all updated and we do have to check out those settings because they will improve your battery life, your privacy and even your cellular usage. So those are very, very cool. So let's get started. And the first one is actually right here in Safari and it has to do with one of the most controversial changes that iOS 15 gave us, which is changing the address bar from the top to the bottom. And everyone, almost everyone hated it. And it's very easy actually to change this back to the way it was. And all you have to do is actually tap on the two A's right here, AA, and then go ahead and tap on show top address bar. And then it'll go to the top it'll be back to normal, back to like iOS has ever been, and I'm sure you want to do this change, but of course, if you wanna change it later, just go back and show bottom top bar, and then it'll just go to the bottom and be back to normal. The next iOS 15 setting that you need to change is right here in the Find My app. So if you tap on your devices, you'll see right here, notify when left behind. So you just tap on this feature, and you will allow it because in most cases it, this will be turned off and please keep in mind that this will work only on supported devices so check if your device supports this feature and what this will do is uh, when it detects that you're leaving a device behind because of course a device will be in contact with other ones it'll notify you that you forgot it in a specific location so it'll just give you a notification saying that you left behind this is super useful. I would definitely recommend that you turn this on. And we also have this other new feature, which is hide my email, as I said before. And if you tap on this one, and this can even be even cooler than the previous one, because what this will do is we can create a random address, and then we can give away this random address to, let's say, an app, a service, a newsletter, whatever, and then it'll automatically forward any email sent to this random address that we're gonna create to our own address. So we're gonna create a random like fake address, let's say, but everything that we receive on that fake one will go straight to our own existing email and no one will have access to our own email. Absolutely amazing. So we can just tap on create new address, as you guys can see, wait for a second and then iCloud will automatically create a random address. So as you guys can see, a random thing at iCloud.com. And as I said, I can give this address to any service that I want or to any newsletter, whatever. And then I'll receive everything on my own personal existing address because everything here will be forwarded to my own address that, do, that does exist. So then you can create a name. So for example, let's say um, you're creating this for a ESPN newsletter, whatever. So you just put here ESPN, next, just so you know, just so you have this organized, and then it's all set, you can hit done, and then you have this here ESPN, so you know that this email will be for a ESPN newsletter, but will be forwarded to your own existing email, so cool. There's another thing quite buried here in your settings, but if you scroll down and you go to accessibility and you scroll down a bit more, right here under hearing, you have audio and visual. And right here, the second option, you have background sounds. And if you tap here, it'll be turned off by default, but you can turn this on and have really cool background sounds like this, which is a rain sound that you can use to concentrate or to relax, to get calm, to study, to work, whatever. And you have other sounds right here. So you have uh, balanced noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, stream, whatever you want. And you can use those sounds, as I said, uh, to meditate, to do whatever you want. And since it's quite buried here in your settings, I decided to show you this one. All of those features, again, are new and exclusive to iOS 15. So you can uh, disable that and re-enable whenever you want. Another very cool setting that I do recommend that you check out is right here in the weather app. So if you tap on the option button at the, at the bottom right corner, uh, you have the three dots now at the top right hand corner, tap here now, 
and you have notifications. And again, this is new to iOS 15. Everything here is new to iOS 15. You can tap on notifications and now you have notifications for your locations. So you can enable for either my location or for all your locations is up to you, but I do recommend that it's only for my location. And what this will do is notify you when you have a climate change. So uh, if it starts to rain, you get a notification in your lock screen or whatever, a normal notification saying that it's raining or if it's snowing, so you get those notifications when time changes. So this is very cool as well. Now let's head back to settings and then Apple ID once again and iCloud once again but now we're going to talk about iCloud Backup. Tap on iCloud Backup and you see a new option called Backup Over Cellular. And I do recommend that you turn this off because naturally, if you enable, if you allow uh, your iPhone to backup over cellular, this will obviously uh, use a ton of your cellular data. This feature is only for newer iPhones with 5G, but it's important to keep in mind to disallow this feature I do recommend and since we're talking about cellular we also have other features that I want to show you so if we come back now to the first screen and then we go to cellular if we scroll down all the way down it's very hidden actually keep scrolling keep scrolling you'll see right here iCloud Drive so as you guys can see there's this option for iCloud Drive and when not connected to, uh, to Wi-Fi use cellular network to transfer documents and data and I also don't recommend that you leave this on. I do recommend that you leave this off because naturally, if uh, there are documents to be synced, to be uploaded or downloaded, if this is on, you'll be using your cellular data, data to do all of that transferring. So I do recommend that you turn this off unless you have an unlimited plan, but you got the idea, right? So, uh, and last but not least on cellular, if we scroll down to photos, so keep scrolling, keep scrolling, right here on photos we also have right here this possibility of cellular data as you guys can see so if you tap on here you see cellular data on as well all of those features are on guys okay these they are by default turned on and if we turn off this feature so it'll turn off cellular data uh, or to restrict updates to wi-fi including shared albums and iCloud photos so turn this off to avoid kind of the same thing we were talking about iCloud Drive, but here for photos to avoid syncing all your information and all of that with your cellular. So turn it off to save your data plan. Still here on your settings and back to privacy, if we scroll down, keep scrolling, and then we go to Safari, and then we keep scrolling once again, we have this new feature called hide IP address. And if we tap here, you can hide your IP address from trackers and websites, from trackers only, and you can turn it off. So naturally, you wanna have this hidden from trackers and websites. If for some reason it's here or off, I do recommend that you tap on trackers and websites just to make sure that your website is not visible to anyone trying to hack you, to track you, sorry, and then from websites as well. So as you can see, iOS 15 has a ton of features when we're talking about privacy and security, and I'm showing you the most important ones. And then last but not least, still here in the settings and still talking about privacy and security, let's talk about mail. So if you scroll down, go to mail, and then we scroll a little bit down, you see right here, privacy protection. So tap on this option, and by default, this should be turned on, but I recommend that you check out on your iPhone. And what this you do is mail privacy protection works by hiding your IP address and loading remote content privately in the background, even when, even when you don't open the message. So again, another uh, feature to actually protect you, hide your information, hide your IP address. We saw this in the mail in Safari with the iCloud feature as well. So iOS 15 is super uh, thinking and protecting you when we're talking about uh, privacy and all of that. So there you have it. Those are my most important settings that you really do, that it really should change in iOS 15 in order to have more privacy, security, better battery life, and of course, 
even save uh, on your data plan on your cellular data all right so if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button down below i really do appreciate it on top of that please make sure to hit on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video and last but not least hit the comment box down below tell me your feedback i always do appreciate and i always love to see what you're thinking about my videos and my channel all right so that's pretty much it and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.